Hey guys, and welcome back to Mary J's Hauls. So today I wanted to do a quick video talking about um, some Etsy account issues that I've run into over the past, as well as how to fix them in addition to a sales update. So the, for those of you guys who follow my Amazon merch series, I know I haven't been putting very many videos out lately, and that is due to the lack of being tiered up. Now with Etsy, you don't have limits on tiers, so I can upload as much as I want, and it costs 20 cents per item that I upload. So Thank you guys to everyone that has used my link below. And guys, if you have not already and you are interested in signing up for an Etsy account, list, click the link below and you will get 40 free listings. I also get 40 free listings. And so the alternative is that nobody gets 40 free listings. So it's a win-win situation. Definitely click the link below. And thank you to all of you guys who already did click that link. I've accumulated quite a bit of um, free listings, which thank you guys. So let's get into it because from the start, I saw major success, more success than I did on Amazon Merch. Then I noticed that my sales kind of dropped off. So we'll go ahead and get into it. So this is more, they don't really have great charts and maybe I will be able to find a Chrome extension of, of some sort that can uplink with, uh, Printful as well as Etsy to give you better images for your stuff, just like Pretty Merch um, for Amazon Merch. So, guys, as you guys can see, this is more of how many people viewed it, but this is kind of parallels also my sales. So, overall this year, I've made $923. Now, quite honestly, the majority of that came in one month. Um, and then after that, as you guys can see, it pretty much resembles how my stuff went. There was a big incline and then instantly an immediate drop off. Now, I started to go in and check some of my listings using the full title that I put in, the exact title, and my listings weren't coming up at all. So I realized that I wasn't viewable. Now, I know I'm not the only person that has had these problems before, as Ryan knows several other people that have also encountered this issue, and there is a way to fix it, even though Etsy will say nothing is wrong. So again, guys, so this is my this year revenue. Um, as you can see, I've had almost 4,000 visits and this order number, it, for whatever reason, is always wrong. It's I have about 35 orders, um, so not many more, but it's definitely not exact, I can tell you that. And then in the last 30 days, you guys can see that my views were up and down and up and down. Now, again, it shows that how shoppers found you 76 percent of it was through etsy so etsy is advertising i did not click on anything i didn't upload anything to etsy to make etsy market my products um i think that just kind of happens or naturally and then 24 percent of my visits were due to direct and other traffic social media and zero from etsy ads so i don't think i'm running any etsy ads not that i'm aware of and i'm really the one maintaining my account here so as you guys can see, my this month's revenue is $82. Um, and I wish it showed profit really, but guys, I was making literally every day two or three sales and some of the orders were more. And some of these designs I have on Amazon Merch. So, and you can charge more on Etsy, which is great because people expect to pay more, but also I find the quality of the t-shirts on Etsy to be better. So let's talk about the problem that I encountered. It basically, my account flatlined and I was like, well, maybe nobody's buying. But then once I started doing direct searches for my products, I couldn't find any. And so there was really two errors that happened. So the first thing that I did, oh, sorry, this is a different problem, was I called Etsy and said, listen, I know this happens to other people. My listings aren't visible. And they kept just telling me that my tags were bad. And I said, this is not the issue. My tags aren't bad. My listing isn't bad. I know because I put a lot of work into all these listings. Um, and they kept saying the same thing. And I said, can you elevate this to a higher person? Next thing you know, within the next two days, I get another sale. And I'm like, sweet. Yes, it's back up and running. But then... Da -na -na -na, another problem occurs. And I think problems on Etsy are, are pretty like common. Um, so the other issue that I ran into was I started getting messages from people. People were now able to find my listings and I was getting views on my, my page. Although they were messaging me saying they could not purchase my items. They could click on the link, but there was no payment option available. So as you guys can see here, I'm going to be transparent with my design. I love this design. She wants the D, which is for Dogecoin. Um, you know, cryptocurrencies have been a really fun niche for me, both in Amazon Merch as well as Etsy. I've been doing really well in them. So I've pretty much 
st stuck it out for the last couple of months waiting until I get marked up on Amazon. But as you guys can see here, I did ran, run a sale and it's pretty much I added in the extra cost just so that I can run a sale because for whatever reason, people's eyes tend to lean towards sale items. So it works. Um, so as you can see here, the, this is how it was showing. It was showing everything just like this, except you could not proceed to checkout. So then I reached back out to Etsy and I did it through calling the customer service number, which you guys can find here and I'll list it below. Um, they also have Etsy chat as well as email. Now guys, I tried all three, but I do have to say their Etsy help center is usually pretty good and that's how I kind of solved my problem without them because what I realized was all of a sudden they decided to wipe the verification of my documents that I provided, including my bank documents and my ID. So that lack of verification on their part, even though I was making sales before that, all of a sudden when they fixed my Etsy account from the first issue of my shop not being viewable, it somehow triggered the verification of my account to get set off. So then people could see my listings but not purchase. So. This is the message that I got unable. We, we, unfortunately, we were unable to verify your identity with the documents provided. Um, and so you're no longer eligible to sell on Etsy, which scared the crap out of me. So instantly I picked up the phone and I was like, no, I am going to sell on Etsy. I've got free listings. My shop does well. It's a win-win situation for both of us. Um, and I was like, you are not taking away my Etsy privileges. Fortunately, they did not, guys. I have my Etsy account back and it is doing fine. So what I ended up doing was once again, taking pictures of my ID and guys for simplicity, I would just recommend having a hidden file somewhere on your computer that already has two good pictures of identification because moving more into this like automated stuff, more and more you're gonna need these IDs to verify your identification. I know Amazon Seller Central now requires um, an ex almost extensive verification process just to open up a Seller Central account. Then um, I think Merch requires your ID as well as any cryptocurrency platforms. So it's always good just to have a little file on your computer that has both IDs so you don't have to keep taking them again. But I went ahead and re-uploaded my pictures and you will be able to find that under your Etsy column and then uh, you go to finances and then it will show there an orange thing showing that you need to re-upload your ID. Uh, but again, you can follow this um, or go to the help center for more and I found it to be pretty useful actually, it, it worked. So then, yes, I showed you the customer service number. So here is the Etsy Help Center, as you can see. How to verify your identity payments is really what I clicked on, and that worked out well. As you guys can see, it gives you this. So again, once you upload, re-upload your ID, it's really good to go back, make sure that your tax forms are in line, you have your social security or your business tax ID, um, and your bank account is correct. I've made this mistake before, guys, so I, I ended up spending a whole year working on merch and then those funds went to somebody else. I'm happy that it went to the person that did, but at the same time, it was, you know, a, a little, it stung a little. So guys, just make sure all of that is clear. So it was really just my ID, my social and my bank account that I really went back and verified. And then I got this now so now when i click on my finance section of my etsy account it will show that i'm enrolled in etsy payments which means other people can buy my products now because before when i wasn't verified um when my account did this weird thing it was saying there's no payment options available due to the fact that verification did not go through so I think that that's pretty much it. So if you're looking to solve that problem or if you're just thinking that all of a sudden you're making consistent sales and then it flatlines, something's probably not right. So definitely reach out to Etsy and I did it through email, chat and uh, the phone and told them, listen, I know you guys aren't seeing anything wrong with my account, but I promise something is wrong with my account. It is more common than you think where you cannot find your exact listing using the exact title and keywords that you use. So 
if you notice that happening, definitely reach out to them, tell them what's going on. They will keep like upgrading it to different levels of people that work there. And eventually it within a couple days, it got fixed for me. And then you might have to go through the verification process again, just like I did. But overall, pretty simple. My account is back up and running. Um, I am, you know, I feel bad for all those people that messaged me saying they couldn't buy and I lost a lot of sales that way, which was unfortunate. But Moving forward and looking into the future, I'm really excited to get more into it as I'm seeing more reward from this than I am from Amazon merch. So definitely stick in there. If you're already doing Amazon merch, I, there's really no big cost involved in doing the Printful Etsy integration. And if you're already spending the time to make the designs, you might as well maxi uh, maximize it on different platforms. So guys, thank you so much for watching Mary J's Hauls. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.